Hi Capricorn and Capricorn Rising. Uh, welcome to your after moon report. I'm just pulling some cards for each sign. If you're just now tuning in, we are checking in, seeing what the energy for this lunar cycle is. Checking in after that new moon we just had. And just seeing what energy you have to your work. What energy is surrounding you right now? What energy you're working with? What are you bringing in this cycle? And what is your outcome? What are you getting out of this cycle, I should say? As outcomes come and go and change about as quickly as the moon does. All right, whoa, <laughs> there's that moon. That was too many cards, so let's <laughs> settle down. All right, Capricorn and Capricorn Rising, how are you doing? I can't see the comments right now, but I will check them after and respond. Um, let's see what energy is with you right now. Okay, we're gonna stop shuffling there. The star. Okay, Capricorn. Starting out with the stars with you right now. The star is all about the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, the star comes up often when you're coming out of a really rough time to let you know that there is hope. And that there is light. So that's a pretty awesome energy to have with you right now. Let's see what else is with you right now. And what you're bringing in with this cycle. What are you working on? What are you working on? And what are we getting out of this? What are we learning from all of this? Where are we heading after this? New this lunar cycle. If you're just tuning in, um, and I didn't say it before, I will be putting more in-depth readings on my blog, starsandspoon.com, starsandspoons.com, and link in my bio, and I'll be putting more in-depth readings on YouTube. Just wanted to pull some cards. Oh, King of Wands. Okay, working, leveling up in the creativity and the bringing ideas to life and that fire realm. That's cool. That's a good energy. Gosh, you got the star and the King of Wands. That's really cool. Pretty cool cycle right now so far, Capricorn. Oh, all right. Guess we're done shuffling. All right, six of wands. So we're definitely doing a victory lap this cycle in some way or another. Um, six of wands is like getting some recognition for the hard work you've done, overcoming an obstacle, especially like a spiritual or creative obstacle, um, and coming into a better place. This is like the celebration, victory, victory, victory card. I always think of that as a victory card. Four of swords. So during this cycle, this has been coming up for a lot of signs. So definitely with all of this like fire, energy we have to remember to rest and recuperate get good sleep self-care especially if you're spoony keep your spoon count in mind three of wands this also came up earlier so definitely you have the magic touch with this cycle you are going to be able to bring 
something in, whatever, I don't know, whatever that is, you have, like, whatever you want to create, you can create right now with that Three of Wands energy. It's coming together right now. It's coming together. And the High Priestess. So tapping into your High Priestess, this is um, learning what you are, you know, I'm trying to think, I don't know why I'm getting tied up on this with this particular, okay, that makes sense, okay. So um, the High Priestess, inner knowledge, intuition, sharing your knowledge you have things to teach too the high priestess is a teacher um i think this is why i got tripped up uh this nine and ten of wands was underneath there and um so with the ten of wands like what needs to be let go of? what are you carrying that can be let go of what burdens are you shouldering that you don't need to be shouldering? Let go of something. Because it's leaving you in this nine of wands, you know? Where it's like you've defeated um, your challenges. You've defeated any attackers, but you're still carrying too much. And with the wands, it's also spiritual burdens. So not just physical, you know, not just itemized things on your checklist, not just um, taking on too many um, responsibilities, but also holding on to too much spiritual heaviness. So... You know, again, with that four of swords in mind, that rest and recuperation in mind, also take a little inventory. What are you putting energy into? What are you carrying that you don't really need to be carrying, that you don't really need to be putting your energy into? Come into this high priestess. That's where you're going. Okay, Capricorn. So... I do think Capricorns tend to take on a lot of responsibility. And um, so take a look at what you can let go of. For outcome, we've got Four of Cups and Three of Pentacles. So Four of Cups, while also is a little bit of a stuck in a rut card, it's also about coming back into balance and recuperating emotionally. So, so that's um, what this cycle is doing for you, is bringing things back into balance. And with this Three of Pentacles also... So moving into um, some collaboration, some a good, good stuff with your work, with health, with home stuff, um, I think that that's a really nice outcome that three, the threes are a good energy. It's like you're building a good foundation there. So that's what you're doing with this cycle and that's sort of what you're getting out of this cycle is a solid foundation to jump off of into whatever this new beginning that you're coming into is. So that's your outcome. Let me pull one of these White Witch Oracle cards for you. If you're just tuning in, I'm pulling one of these. Just whatever questions on your mind, take this as like a little nudge or whatever a little sign. I got this from an artist here on Instagram at White Witch Oracle. I will put a link to her page so you can check out the deck. Um, it's really cute. It's small. It's a small little deck. It's a little pocket size deck and um, it's a nice little supplemental deck. So let's see. Okay, so for Capricorn, we got Choose a New Direction. 
So take that as you will, whatever question you had in mind or whatever you're thinking about. There you go. All right, Capricorn, love you. And thanks for tuning in, whether you're tuning in live or tuning in later. I will try to post these on YouTube later. And uh, stay tuned. We are moving on to Aquarius and Aquarius Rising. Love you. Good night.